The most important thing of all of getting good, clear audio of somebody speaking is to have the microphone as close to the person's mouth as possible. You could have the most expensive microphone in the world eight feet away and it will never sound as good as a cheap microphone really close to somebody's mouth. Here we have around me a bunch of microphones. Some are really expensive, some are cheap. Which one do you think you're hearing me through right now? I'll give you a little bit of time to figure to look at them and figure it out. Is it a big fuzzy thing up there? That fuzzy thing up there? Those pencil sticks up there? One of these things down here? I'm not gonna move my head to give it away. I'll give you three seconds to figure it out. Are you ready? The answer is I am using none of these. I'm not using any of these microphones. <laughs> There's nothing above me, nothing left and right. You don't hear clothing rustling. I could jump around and, you know, I could do whatever I want. There's no strings to tie me down. So what the hell is Marcus using? This has always been the question. What microphone is Marcus using and where the hell does he hide it? All right, in this video, I'm gonna give it away. I feel kind of guilty, but hey, I gotta do my bit for helping humanity, right? So, okay, here's the answer. What, I, what microphone I use and where I hide it. Here we go. 15 years ago, I started off like every other YouTuber putting a shotgun mic on top of a camera. It just, it's just, it's so cheesy and amateurish. I mean, this is not how you get good sound. And then I progressed to having the shotgun mic over your head, aiming down because, hey, that's what they do in Hollywood, right? That's why all the YouTubers do this. They see people in Hollywood doing this, having a shotgun mic over your head. Well, yeah, they do that for some stuff, but they don't do it for everything. This is what you see them doing. What you don't see them doing is all the other places they hide the microphones. And actually, how I found uh, where I hide my mic the most is not from Hollywood, it's from Broadway stage production. Because in Hollywood, you only see this much of the actor usually, and then they hide the microphones off camera or wherever, you know, but on a Broadway stage, you can't have equipment with microphones and things. You have to actually have it on the actor somehow, somewhere. And that's where I started studying. I got some really good information from them. And they do that in Hollywood too. But anyway, the answer is where I hide my microphones isn't just one place. It's lots of different places. It depends on the situation. If I'm outside and it's windy, I would use a different spot than if I'm indoors and there's no wind at all. So it depends. It depends on the situation. So normally, you know, a normal situation is you use a lavalier mic clipped to you right here. If you don't want to see it, you put it underneath your clothing but you try to have a gap so you can, you know, you can breathe up and you can hear it, not have it muffled too much. But there are times where even that, you, it doesn't sound as good. Usually it doesn't sound as good. So I found a different place to hide a microphone and that's where it is right now. Right now, I, I, you're listening to me with my favorite place to hide a microphone. And uh, again, I got this from a Broadway stage uh, sound this is how they do it, or one of the ways they do it. Because when you have heavy costumes and stuff, and your clothing is rustling, you know, you can't hide a mic here, because there's gonna be all this rustling sound, and you know, it's just not good. So you have to have the microphone closer to here. And luckily, because I'm healthy and we have a health channel, I have hair. So, I know where you're getting with this, right? I already showed this in another video, but, this is where I hide my mic most of the time. Right there. This is the microphone. Right there. It's taped to my hairline with some medical tape. It resists sweating and stuff like that. Uh, and then I have a cord. There's these clips that clip into my hair. And then I try to just put the hair over top of it and it runs down the back of my head and it goes to a recorder down here. Now the recorder's always in my pocket. So, I find the best audio is always from a recorder that you have in your pocket as versus wireless because there's no interference. It's so much easier to do. You don't have to worry about, you know, Wi-Fi or interference or anything or moving behind an object. You just put it in your pocket, push record, and then forget about it. And then like two hours later when you're done, you just push stop and you're done. And it just sounds so much better and it's so much easier to use. I, I love wireless. I love playing with it. And I will get a whole, I'll do a whole video on just wireless. Sometimes I like to run a cord if I'm close enough to the camera, just from the, the microphone, I would literally just run it to the camera and stick it in, which is fine also. There's so many ways to do it. So there isn't one set way to do it. And there isn't one particular way you should always hide a microphone. 
Uh, you might wonder what microphone this is. Well, again, it depends on the situation. What sounds good for me sounds different than with Kara. I can't use the same microphone for her because her voice is different than mine. Your voice is different than mine. So don't run out and just use my microphone and my recorder and use my settings because it. what I'm using is dialed in for me. What sounds good for you might be different. Each microphone, shotgun, lavalier, whatever it is you're using, have different characteristics and they make voices sound a certain way. The one that I'm using is a DPA 6060. It's one of the world's smallest microphones and it's what they like to use in Broadway plays to hide on people's faces, in their hair, in their makeup. Sometimes they have prosthetics, you know, where you have fake stuff on your face and then they hide it just poking out just from the prosthetic or if you have a beard or whatever. The 6060 is not necessarily just for putting in your hair, it's also for putting on your clothes or wherever you want. It's just, it is a microphone. Um, but this is the one that I find I like the sound for. You could use different microphones. DPA has like four different ones or five different ones that are a similar size, but they have different characteristics. Some have uh, more of a low cut filter, some are a, a more, made for high sounds for when somebody's yelling or screaming or singing. Uh, if somebody's talking quiet, you need a different microphone than if you're screaming or singing or something like that. And then there's, are you a male or female? Uh, do you want to bring up the bass more or do you want it to sound more feminine? It depends on the person. So again, it, there isn't one microphone that works for everybody. So this is where I like to hide my microphone a lot is right up here because I have hair because I'm somewhat healthy, which is why we have a health channel to show people how to be healthy and not lose their hair, not be fat, not die of disease. Uh, it's the healthylife.com. Uh, so I, the whole reason we started doing videos in the first place was to inspire people to a healthier lifestyle and say, hey, if you do certain things and live a certain way and eat a certain way, chances are you'll be a lot healthier and happier and younger looking and have more hair and you won't be sick and all that. That's how it all started. Not be, I just do the photography stuff because it's fun. You know, I just love doing it. But uh, the main purpose of all this stuff is the health channel. And one of the side effects of being healthy is you have hair. Yeah, I know some, some of it's hereditary, but for a lot of it, it can be prevented. You can grow bigger hair. But there are people who don't have a lot of hair up here. So there is other ways of hooking up microphones of course, the most common one is right here on the child lapel and things like that. Uh, we put on the collar. There are head mics where you can actually have a microphone right here by your ear, which is really cool. You can put that there. Uh, be creative with it. There's so many ways to get a microphone close to you. They have the kind of mics that Tony Robbins likes to use and speakers on stage where they have a little wire that holds a microphone close to your mouth. And those sound really good because the microphone is really close to your mouth. So here's a headset mic. This is a little microphone that's floating in the air near your mouth, held there by a little wire. And you can bend that wire up or down, left or right, so it's closer to your mouth. And once you have it in a position you like, it just stays there. No matter what you do with your head, it follows your mouth around and stays the same distance from your mouth, which is really good. It doesn't attach to your clothing, so your clothing can rustle around like a, a normal lavalier mic would hear with a clothing rustle. This doesn't. You can move your hair, you can rustle it, like nothing touches the microphone. It's just so cool. This is what's used by people on stage giving TED Talks and stuff like that, but it's also good for people doing workshop videos, like a guy fixing his car in his garage or something, where you have your arms moving, your clothing's moving, there's all kinds of stuff happening. Nothing touches this mic. It just stays the same distance from your mouth, floating in the air, no matter what you do. This is a DPA 6066, but I've got lots of other ones which I'm gonna show you in an upcoming microphone video. I just thought I'd present this really quick to show you another option of having a microphone close to your mouth. But as for hiding a microphone in your hair, which is a real hassle, I have a much better place for you to hide a microphone in my upcoming How to Hide a Microphone video. And you're gonna love that one. You're just gonna love it, I know you will. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, the recorder I use, I know people are asking that. Again, don't just run out and get this one because th there's a lot out there that are a lot less expensive and easier to use. I'm using a Zaxcom ZFR 400. It's like a thousand dollars and it's not the easiest thing in the world to use. This is just the one that I like to use. I'm gonna make a video just about portable recorders. I'm gonna show you the differences and the prices and all that. 
Uh, th this one is kind of hard to get and it's expensive and it's not that easy to use and you can get a similar sound using something less expensive and just as small that you can put in your pocket. So I'll get into all that in another video, but I just wanted to show you, people are always asking, where the hell does he hide his microphone? Well, now you know. It's right here. There's my microphone. Sometimes I have it under my shirt. Like when I go on location, I would put one under my shirt and one on my hair uh, uh, right here. And the thing is when you're outside and if it's windy, there's a good chance that the wind will be hitting my head, blowing my hair away and then the wind hits the microphone right on and it's like like that and it doesn't sound good. So I have to bury a microphone under my shirt to protect it from the wind. And another thing is, which way are you facing? Is the wind behind you or in front of you? If it's hitting you in the face, you can't have a microphone exposed up front. You need to hide it under some kind of barrier like clothing or something like that. So a lot of things to keep in mind. There isn't just one way to hide a microphone. And I'll, get, I'll make a whole other video just about how to hide microphones. And I'll get into that or so. I gotta tell you though, this is not a fun place to hide a microphone. I do not recommend it. It's a real hassle getting it in there. A lot of times you see the cord in the back, if you're turning or the clip, and people, what is that? Oh my God. Or if it shows, then it's even worse. It's so embarrassing, you can't even use the shot. You know, you have to hide it at all. If, if you're outside in the wind, forget it, because the, the wind blows your hair and then you see it. Uh, it's just not a fun place to have a microphone. It works if everything is still, every, you're not moving your head very much. Uh, I have a lot of hair. I mean, I, it works for me most of the time, but if it ever shows, like my hair splits right at that point, ugh, forget it, the shot's ruined. And, and people, you know, it, it, people, that's all people obsess over. The moment they see it, it's like, oh, I, 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 that's all they can look at. They don't hear what you're saying. It's too distracting. So... Um, and now that I said where it is, I hope you guys, uh, you know, don't get so distracted in the future trying to look for it that you don't even hear what I'm saying in the video. Uh, so most people clip their microphone here. It's so easy. You just go clip and it's there or on there on your collar. I mean, it doesn't sound as clear, but it's definitely clear enough. Otherwise, newscasters wouldn't be clipping it on their tie in the six o'clock news. So down here, just clipping it on the outside is so much easier. Uh, and that's what I recommend most people do. I just do this because I'm different, I'm weird, I like to see what I can get away with. Um, I like to experiment and just be weird. <laughs> but uh, I think most people would be just better off just clipping it here. This was a quickie about, uh, it wasn't really that quick, was it? <laughs> but anyway, this is a video about answering the question, where does Marcus hide his microphone? What kind of microphone does he use and what does he record into? Each one of those will be covered in another video, but there you go. I hope this helped. Don't be depressed if you don't have hair. I will get into other ways of hiding microphones, which sound pretty good also. So stay tuned for this extensive audio series that you guys have been waiting for for years. And I'm gonna really put a lot of uh, effort into making, because I love audio as much as video. So stay tuned, see you next one, bye.